What's up, motherfucks? Coming to you from the couch, you know? What, squirrel? What you doing, squirrel? Time to go back to sleep. 9 a.m. Huh. Videos that I made, like, two days ago still aren't uploading. They're still at, like, 4% because, like I said, I do everything on my phone. And, um... Are you special? We'll see. I'm never alone, at least. I grab it. Anyway, so yeah, I do everything on my phone. I have like 10 or 11 videos uploading, so. And then who knows when this one will fucking go up. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, so one thing I have learned, especially from this whole Marilyn Manson thing, is I'm pretty good at arguing and like pretty good at like debating stuff because all these people keep trying to say, like, oh, you know, well, you know, uh, do you not believe people that were, you know, raped by, you know, priests and stuff like that, or people that were, um, uh, well, you know, assaulted by Donald Trump, like, did, did you believe them, but you didn't, don't believe this, because he's your favorite rock star, and blah, 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 and it's just like, no, actually, um, there is proof that the Vatican is basically, like, a pedophile playground, and so is the Catholic Church, and, uh, there's too many stories of, like, youth groups being, like, you know, sexual and all, all this shit, and it's just, like, a front, you know? Like, the Boy Scouts and stuff. But that's not the case with every Boy Scout. My brother's a Boy Scout, and he hasn't... He's 16 now, but he hasn't, you know, come in with any of that shit. Uh, literally. Um, <clears throat> and it's all situational. It's not like every single priest is a pedophile. They're stupid. Either every single priest is stupid, period. <laughs> Might be intelligent, but you're stupid if you believe in God. You're smart if you're a Joel Alstie and you do it to make money. I, I don't believe motherfuckers like that believe in God. 100% do not believe. Because, you know... It's easier for a camel to get through a, what is that, a pin needle, through a needle's eye, than it is to, you know, uh, enter the gates of heaven. So, yeah, read your Bibles, bitches. <laughs> Any religious person that tries to come at me with, like, religious quotes, and I was like, yeah, I read the Bible, like, seven times by the time I was 12. Come at me. <laughs> um, but that's why I love it when people, uh, there's this one lady, and she keeps, I don't know how old she is, but she keeps saying how her youngest kids must be smarter than me. Um, okay. So she's like, yeah, you know. Did you not believe Trump? Did you not believe all the, the people that were raped by, by priests and everything? You know, just asking for a friend. He must be your favorite rock star. And, uh, I kind of wanted to screenshot, but my, my comment back was, like, too fucking long. And it was like, no, um, because Marilyn Manson's the only fucking rock star that kind of, that is around anymore. And, you know, there's a bunch of evidence, you know, for priests being fucking creepy. Like, there's evidence, there's proof, there's, you know, there's a lot of shit. For Trump, I think a good amount, you know, could have been true, could have been made up, but there's difference. There's difference between facts and feelings. You know, there's my little new, newly whatever Ben Shapiro fan or whatever coming out. Um, but, you know, and I was like, you know, uh, so you also say just asking for, like, I totally, like, took everything they said and ripped it the fuck apart. You know, she's like, yeah, you know, my, uh, my, my grandma said, you know, it was my fault I was raped at 14 and blah, blah, blah. You know, so I started, started, because she commented on, th like, three different things. But it's funny, because in, like, Marilyn Manson madness, like, it's in Marilyn Manson groups. So I don't, I don't get why these people, you know, go to, like, Marilyn Manson fan sites and start talking crap. You know, it makes no sense to me. Like, I love having conversations, so I like these people. <laughs> you know, but I like, I like proving, I like making them think. I was like, you know, I was like, well, first of all, your grandmother is a disgusting human being. It's never right to blame a victim. I would never do so. I think anyone that's, that's uh, you know, convicted of such a deplorable fucking crime deserves the worst pun punishment imaginable. Saying that, you know, I also do not believe Marilyn Manson did the shit he said he did or in the context, you know, like how his he made one statement. I think that was, you know, definitely enough. It's just like, what the fuck you doing, Jew? Um... When, when you do shit with someone to that whatever, you know, in, in, a sexu in a sexual manner, like, just because you feel a certain way about it or, like, it's not, what, what can I say? Like, that's, that can't be twisted. I can't say anything without anything being twisted. You know, but, but I mean, if you're into, like, whipping or being tied up and shit, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, there, you know, if you're doing that to someone against their will, then yes, there's something definitely wrong with that. But the fact that, you know, everyone is saying shit that was cons- Okay, buddy. You know, that was consensual is now not consensual because they changed their mind. Like, the one chick that came out and said that, uh, you know, seven years later, she decided that it was, uh, you know, abuse at that point. Like, come on. Like, 
there's there's like a bunch of shit that I regret in life, but I wouldn't ever call it moose chill. Would never call it like abusive or anything or you know, it's just take for personal responsibility because I put um there's this I forgot it's like morning dove something and they have like victim cards or white privilege cards or blame cards. Like actual physical cards are like four ninety nine. And so I took a screenshot of the victim card. I was like, Oh, I wish I could send this to Evan Rachel Wood, but I'm pretty sure somehow that would be misconstrued as violence. And the lady comments on it again, saying I'm victim shaming and blah blah. No, no, but you know, uh, I stand with Vance and I stand with victims in a general sense, even though it's not my fire, it's not my problem. But I, I'm just saying, like, not everyone's a victim because they say they are. There's a lot of people, and I know a lot of those people that love being victims that aren't. You know, they just they think that talking about it and saying all their problems, you know, like gets them like. Literal, a literal victim card or get some like extra brownie points for this or that when it really just makes you look like a weak human being that does no personal responsibility you know i'm not saying there's there's no such thing as personal responsibility when it comes to being raped like period like i feel like you should be able to walk down the street naked you know twerking bending over it and you shouldn't be raped unless she's like hey you know whatever but like yeah there's no excuse for that period and that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is like in this case <laughs> You know, in the case of, like, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. That's just, that's what I love to bring up. Yeah, believe all women. I was like, okay, look, tell me about Amber Heard then. Was she, was, should we believe her still? You know? Um, sorry, my cat's looking at a bird and it's interesting to me. Come here. Yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to say that I think my debate skills are getting a little bit better. And uh, I, I encourage you to go on Marilyn Manson fans. just Or just go to a random metal page. Just any metal page on Facebook. Just, add, 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 like, add yourself to the group. And start posting Marilyn Manson shit. Your debate skills will get like 100% <laughs> after that because so many people are going to talk shit to you. You know, some people are like, oh yeah, I love Manson. Where's the nearest, you know, Manson uh, support group, blah, blah, And some people are like, oh, well, you're a fucking rape apologist and you're this and somehow you're you're also racist and, you know, you're just the worst person in the fucking world for having a bit opinion and you're the worst person in the world for not wanting to, like, fry someone alive immediately just because someone says something, you know? I hate humanity. How about you?